Why, why am I so bad at defending? I am genuinely just the worst defender. Everyone else in this game seems to know how to defend, except me. Absolutely fucking dick. So, no, so, so Campbell, no! Why? Why is this happening? I'm doing a defensive review and I just got rainbow flicked. Why did that happen to me? Oh, fucking, where is Kanate? What is he? This is honestly one of the worst fucking debuts you'll ever see. Where was he? Red Sea and fucking impersonations going on. Oh, that's such a load of shit. We've defended near flawlessly. And he's dabbing on me. Don't do that! Maybe what I need is a new centre back. A centre back to fix everything. A centre back with good work rates. Yes. A centre back with amazing pace. Yes. A centre back with unbelievable defending stats. Yes! I wanna die. I wanna I wanna be dead now. I don't wanna I don't wanna no. No, I don't wanna anymore. Yeah, but actually no. Oh my god! Alright boys and girls, so we're going to be jumping into a centre-back Kante review today. Now this is a little bit strange, okay, because, you know, on the one hand, Kante, at least on the face of it, has an insane centre-back card. But if you guys aren't aware, which you should be, uh, Kante is extremely short uh, and not really suited for centre-back purely... He's just tiny. Uh, he's a tiny, he's a tiny little man, and uh, he's probably going to get bullied and slapped around at centre back, despite having the stats that you see on on the face of it. But we're going to be trying him there today, boys and girls, because one, I I'm deadly curious. Like, can he can he perform well at centre back? It's very unlikely, but I am curious. Uh, and two, I just think it'd be funny more than anything else. If he is shit, I think it'd just be funny. Uh, so yeah. You know how I feel? Why would you say that? Like, you put me in such an uncomfortable situation. Like, you know I'm not happy. You know I'm trying. So, yeah, boys and girls, we put together a cheeky little team, okay? Nothing too crazy. Nothing nothing too ridiculous. Uh, we've got Caputo Immobile there. We've got uh, Thomas Party, who I haven't used yet. So, that's, uh, this should be, oh, I've used him for one game. I don't actually remember that game. Maybe it's a super sub. I can't remember. I also wanted to use this Bartra again, lads, because he had that insane long shot that he scored uh, in his review. Uh, and I really want to just test his long shots again, because he had just the, the craziest goal, like, that I scored. So I really want to try maybe a couple more of those and, and see if it wasn't a fluke. Hopefully not. Alright boys and girls, so what we're going to do with this review, okay? We're going to play two games with Kante. I'm going to play one game with him as a midfielder and then we'll play the other with him as a centre-back. Obviously, I feel like he'd be most suited as a CDM. You know, he's got very good centre-defensive mid stats. So if you are using this card to switch in with someone in-game, let's, uh, for example, maybe Desai's uh, CDM card, you could do a, a switch with Kante, which would be an incredible little switch there. That would work amazingly. So yeah, if you do pick this card up for something like that that would make a lot of sense and i would say that's that's pretty good he is an expensive card though so do do bear that in mind you're killing me you're breaking my heart yeah, just as a centre-back, it's not looking great. Anyway, we'll jump into the in-games and, and you guys can decipher for yourself. Okay, so medium-high work, great great start. As I was saying, boys and girls, he is five foot six. He's a very, very short man. I mean, it's not, again, it's not really a problem for midfield. It's just... And it's not even really a problem for centre back because heading is ridiculously shit in this game. But there's something about like if you're if you're shorter in this game, you just tend to have less strength, generally speaking. Like even if you put the right chem styles on the players and stuff like that, if you're shorter, you're just going to be weaker, and it, it, that's just the way it is. You know, if you if you're hullet, you're going to beast people off the ball, and if you're Kante size, you're going to get pushed off the ball. Yeah, boys and girls, the pace is great on this card. I do feel like EA were a little bit stingy with the pace. They could have upped it a little bit more than that. You know, he already had really good pace to begin with. So they could have made, made that like 85, 86 pace. The drumming stats on this card are very good. Obviously more useful if you do switch this into a midfielder. It's not as useful as a centre back. But uh, the agility is nice, which is good for, for both positions. Defensively though, this card is insane. Okay, and you can't take anything away from this card defensively. 57 heading accuracy. Again, I know heading is shit, but that is that is terrible. And, and again, being 5'6", uh, you're not going to expect him to win too many headers. So the, the heading shit. But other than that, 96 standing tackle, 95 defensive awareness, and 97 interceptions is, is nothing short of incredible what the fuck and then finally you've got physical stats which are all really good except for what is probably the most important one there for a center back 78 strength is is yeah it's, it's bad not good for a center back that's pretty shit and he's he's gonna he's gonna get destroyed physically i i know this for a fact he's not gonna be able to hold his own uh it's just it just can't happen if it does happen, I'll be very, very surprised. So yeah, overall, boys and girls, a great CDM, no doubt. This card is a fantastic CDM. 
As a centre back, again, there's a lot of there's a lot of problems. So we, what we're going to do, we're going to put the sentinel on him just to buff that that strength as much as possible, I believe. Okay, so he gets plus eight, and obviously it'll be plus ten when he is on ten chemistry. So uh, he does get a, a nice boost there, strength wise. I still have my doubts. I don't think it's going to fix him defensively. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We won't judge him yet. We won't judge him yet. So yeah, for the first game, lads, I will use him as a centre back. You know, again, just to see if he is good there. I'm very much doubtful. I feel like he's going to be terrible uh, and just get destroyed. Destroyed. So we'll use him as a centre back in the first game and in the second game we'll use him as a CDM which is obviously his his natural position. So yeah boys and girls, hopefully we don't get too destroyed. I'm crossing my fingers here, you know, I I, I get destroyed with a good defence so this could this could be bad. <laughs> I'm in danger! Hopefully he's good. Let's jump into game number one. Oh, what ball. Bartra. First touch. Nicely done. Oh, what a pass! Come on! What a goal that was! That was really well worked. This Bartra is fire, by the way, lads. If you haven't done it, I would advise him. He's very, very nice. Great finish from the boy Caputo. Great stuff. No, 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 Kante. Kante, no! Oh my god! He, he did good. He used good strength. Hello. I like that. I like that a lot. So that was a fucking lie. Oh shit. Oh fuck, no. No, not head. Oh, okay. He's got it back. He's got it back. It's, it's alright, lads. Calm. Everyone calm down. Say. Use that pace. Yeah, great defending. Really good. Let's see a Caputo. And head it down. And then Bartra. Oh, oh! Kante, this is all you, mate. You did well. He's, do he's doing really well, like, to be fair. I love it. And that. That's Kante. Oh, no! Okay, that, that was the first thing that Kante's done bad. He should have dealt with that. That was bad. Great tackle. Brilliantly defended from. Oh, he's lost it. It's alright. Catch it, bitch! Defends it. He, he, his defending is second to none. That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! We need to get a second goal. Just in case. Oh, wait. Lovely pass. Immobile. How's that finishing? Oh, it's, st it's still immaculate. It's still. Immobile's finishing even, even in February. Look at that for a fin. That was spicily hit. Mwah. That'll do EA. Lovely. Great. What a bit. Lads, memes aside, I just kept a fucking clean sheet in FIFA 20. Me. Me. Yes, me. Oh, lads, I, I don't know really what to say. I, I'm very surprised. Kante was absolutely amazing and, and didn't put a foot wrong except for one. Like, there was this ball in the box where he definitely should have dealt with it. He kind of just stood there uh, and just almost T-posed as the ball flew in. I don't know why I didn't get rid of it or something. But other than that, he was amazing. Tackling, great. Defensive awareness, fantastic. Pace, amazing. He had one instance where he outstrength Son, so strength is down. Felt amazing. Really good. I actually really enjoyed him. He's a lot of money, so I wouldn't say get him for centre-back because I do feel like there are centre-backs that, that can do a you know a similar job to Kante and, and don't cost 700,000 coins. But if you did like say pack him untradeable or something like that uh, and you're wondering, oh, shall I use this as a centre-back? He was amazing for me. I know this is only one game. Like, you know, you have to take that with a, with a pinch of salt. But uh, you, it is rare for me to keep a clean sheet and I really didn't, I really did defend quite well. So uh, I, I surprised myself and I'm happy. So yeah, boys and girls, we're going to play Kante as a CDM now because I feel like if you're going to get this card, like, you know, and you're serious about this card, you're going to want to position him as a CDM and maybe do a switch with a with a midfielder that would be better suited for a centre back, you know, sort of like a, a, a Kante and Desai kind of situation. So uh, I'm going to try him as a CDM now. To I know he's going to be good, but let's see how good he really is as a CDM because I feel like that's that would just be the the most. That's what you would get this card for, right? I don't feel like there's anyone that seriously wants to spend 700k on a 5 or 6 centre back, uh, right? So yeah, we'll use Thomas Party as a centre back now, because, you know, Thomas Party, he's got the same work rate as Kante, but he's he's six foot one and he's got much better physical stats. So, to, you know, Thomas Party would be a good example of a player you could switch. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the switch, see if Kante's good as a CDM, and uh, yeah, hopefully he is. So, uh, yeah, let's jump into game number two. God, through the middle. What a ball. Easiest goal in the world as long as Omar Isbury's keeper out. Please. Yes. Oh, my God. I made... Okay. Yes. Yep, 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 yep. Good, 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 good. No. Oh, tackle. Come on. Come on, Kante. Get stuck in, lad. No, no. The defence is... Oh, my God. Defensively unravelling. It was not like this when Kante was there. It was, it was nice and solid. You're making me mad, motherfucker. I'm not doing anything. Motherfucker, I'm about to whoop your ass. Come on, Kante. Kante. Oh, look at him. What a, what a start. What an absolute start. 
What a pass from Kante and Mobile. Just hold it up. Wait for Caputo. Good pass. What? A yes. I see you, Bartra. Hit that lad. Bartra, what the fuck, man? That's a terrible pass. Play. Emo. What a touch. Immobile. I love Immobile. I love using him. Because you know when you shoot with him, it's going in. Properly filthy. Oh my god, what the fuck was that, Malqui? Kante, though. He's actually very good, like, strength-wise. You see him, like, out strength in there. Oh, no, he's got tackled. Alright, Kante, get back, lad. Yeah, tackles him. Like, I love him. I fucking love this Kante. Everything about him. Good tackle, Kante. Again. Come on, Kant. No, no, lad. No! <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> what am I doing? Kante, please. Shit! Shit! No! I actually can't defend. I actually was defending so much better when I had Kante there. Like, and that's not even a joke. I'm not even being funny. I actually just am defending shit. Kante, win that. No, that's the terrible pass, Kante. Oh, what a beast, though. He doesn't give it up. What is like a... Like a fucking pit bull. Caputo. Oh, get it. Don't, don't blow. Don't blow. Immobile! Come on! That, I put that all down to Kante's brilliant defending. Not giving that ball up. I mean, I know I'm controlling him, but he just, he was like a pit bull on him. He was straight on him and he got the ball, won it back. We built it up. Great right to Immobile. Yes. <laughs> Okay, I'll take a draw. I'll take it. It wasn't, it's not the worst result at all. It was all right. Well, overall, boys and girls, I thoroughly enjoyed this Kante, both at centre back and CDM. Obviously, I think he's better suited as a CDM, you know, because again, you don't have to worry about the lack of strength and the height and stuff like that. But when I did use him as a centre back, he was really good. I, I'm not even gonna lie. I love the tackling, the defensive awareness, and the pace on this card. So I did actually enjoy him a lot. So yeah, while he was really good at centre back, he cost 700k. I mean, unless he comes down to a really, really good good price it ain't gonna be worth it like whichever way you look at it because you know there are center backs out there that are way more complete you know they've got this the strength the pace uh defensive awareness and aren't that much money so yeah he's not he's definitely not worth it a center back but if you already have this card let's say you packed him untradeable or something he's definitely really good and I, I actually really enjoyed him when i put him as a cdm i was defending a lot worse than than with him as a center back he was he just i don't know he kind of filled it in a lot better than thomas party did at least so yeah that was weird for Really wasn't expecting him to be really good at centre back, but he actually was. Uh, again, I obviously didn't use him for that long. I'm sure in a, a <coughs> excuse me, I'm sure in a 30 game weekend league like Sash, he probably uh, you know has way more flaws than what I saw. But from what I did use of him, really enjoyed him, and he was a lot of fun and stuff. So yeah, he's definitely good. He's just not worth 700k unless you switch him in game to a CDM. Then maybe he's worth it. You know, if you've got something planned like that. Yeah, he he was good, and uh, I'm not gonna lie, he, I, I I'm not gonna lie, it was good. He was really good. So yeah, boys and girls, that's concludes today's episode. I hope you did enjoy. Hopefully, if things go to plan, the next video should be a team review. I also want to do a QA, and a and I think what we're going to do is I'm going to double upload on Saturday. So I'm going to have a QA and a video and a team review. Uh, I'm not sure which order. Probably probably the team review first, then the Q&A. So I look forward to a double upload on Saturday, lads. That should be sick. Yeah, other than that, I'm not too sure what EA's got planned for promos and stuff like that. I'm not too sure what's happening next. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll stay tuned for all that stuff. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace. Thank you.